In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fit a solar light. This one came off Amazon, it was around £13, £14, but it will vary depending where you get it from and at the time you buy it. Um, but yeah, this one is just like a basic one with a fixed solar panel on the top, four LEDs on there, and the motion sensor. Now, usually, you would have fixed these onto a wall or onto a building. But I'm actually going to put mine onto a wooden stake, which is going to light up the area in front of my workshop. So I've just got a battery in there, motion angle 120 degrees, size 8.65 by 11.5 by 4.2 centimeters, and it includes the mounting screws. So I'll now just open this up. Be careful not to drop anything. Just put it to one side. Okay, so here is the main unit. We've got the LEDs. One there, one there, one there, one there, quite hard to see. There they are, you can see them on there. The sensor, of course, the logo, and the solar panel with a protective thing on which can come off. And there's a mounting hole at the top, and also one at the bottom. What else you get is in the box. You also get instructions, how to use it and everything, how to set it all up. So that's all in there. And also the bag of things you need to fix it. So you get roll plugs, uh, two screws, and the pin, which is used to turn it on and off, which is just here. So you turn it on, um, when you're ready to use it, it'll recharge, of course, and then motion detect, and it'll set the light off when you walk in front of it, or if something else walks in front of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be putting this on this stake. Obviously, you probably wouldn't normally do that. Um, it's just, it's the only thing I've really got to put it on, because there isn't any walls around. And its uh, workshop is a metal shed, so it probably wouldn't be that substantial going into the wall. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it up. So obviously if you're doing it into masonry, you'd use the raw plugs. Um, but as I'm only doing it into this thin plank, um, it probably isn't the recommended thing to put it onto. It's just the way I'm going to do it. Obviously it's up to you the way you do it. But it'd be recommended to put it on some form of masonry wall, something along those lines. Or possibly on a w substantial wooden shed which you can fasten it to properly without it coming off but as I say it's just the way I'm going to do it I don't advise that you do it my way exactly but this is just a guide to how you would fit it on and how to set it up so first of all I'm just going to put it on here and mark out where it comes to so I want it around there on it make sure it's square and then I'll just get, you can use a pen, um, but for mine I'm just going to use a scribe because it also can be used as a guide for the drill. You can just about see it in there. And you need to also mark and drill a hole for the one on the back as well. So the first one is the bottom one and it basically just slots in there and then the top one will hold it all in place. So it's basically like a support. Um, so I just need to get this screw in here and then I'll be able to put hook it over this one and then put that one in and it will completely secure it to this plank. So I'll just show you now what it looks like when it's turned on. This key which is provided and you can see it's very bright which is the reason why I bought it because it's low powered it's obviously free to run because it comes off the sun and it will light up the area very adequately. Now this is the way I've done mine obviously if you put it into a wall then you just can ignore all this because it's nothing to do with the rest of the fitting but what I've done is I've put two stakes in, this one is around a meter and a half, two meters and basically only that amount is showing above ground that is how rigid that is because I've got um, this other stake then screwed onto it and then it's right up here all the way right up to here and it might even be going a bit higher than that so I've had to have it as rigid as possible because if any strong winds catch this 
um, and it's only being held in by one stake in the ground, um, which is only under the ground by a few centimetres, then obviously it's going to tip over and smash down. So what I've done is, like I say, hit it as far down as I can. It's a long way down. Um, and then I've put another stake in, which is also in the ground, but not quite as far. And then that is screwed onto it. And then that's just holding that on. That's gonna be screwed into that. And then that'll be right up there and it will light up all of this area. So that is the, that is the main idea of having it right up there. So there we have it. That's it done. Mounted onto there. And then got two big bolts running through here. That runs through with a locking nut and the washer. So that's really bolted in tight there. That one as well runs down, right down to here. And uh, that, that is screwed into that stake. That's a long way in. So now it should be quite rigid. So that is it done. So this is the pin. Um, they call it the key, and this is for turning the light on to test it. After that it will be automatic. So I'll just zoom into the light and I'll show you it turning on. Obviously it's daylight so you probably won't see anything. Um, so I'll just do this. So the lights are on, I don't know if you can see. That's what it looks like during the day, but obviously you wouldn't have it on during the day. And in a few seconds, I'll show you what it looks like in the dark. Okay, so it's fairly dark now and raining. Um, it's not quite dark enough for it to sensor on its own, but if you put your hand over it, um, then it does sensor this light off. And you can see, that's how bright it is. That stays on for around 10 seconds. Um, and it's lighting up the whole area here. Obviously it's not as clear as I want it to be because it's not sensory on its own and it's not completely dark yet. But you can see it dims there. And the rain's getting heavier. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to show you in another video of it sensory on its own, but it's still a bit light. Um, but there it is, in the dark, well, in the dusk, the light up there on its post which I made.